Right, today we'll be looking at what happens when you burn magnesium inside of carbon dioxide. But as with a previous video, we do need to be wearing protection from ultraviolet radiation for this one. So, let's see what happens. Our first step is to produce carbon dioxide gas. For this, we'll be using a rather well-known reaction with sodium bicarbonate and a 5% acetic acid solution, better known as cooking vinegar. When sodium bicarbonate reacts with acetic acid, it will give us a product of sodium acetate and carbonic acid. However, carbonic acid is very unstable and this will quickly decompose into water and carbon dioxide. Now, carbon dioxide will displace the oxygen in the beaker, which means when we put a flame into carbon dioxide, it will put it out. Carbon dioxide is commonly used inside of fire extinguishers for this very reason. However, in the case of magnesium, when that comes into contact with carbon dioxide, something a bit different happens. Now let's have a look at what is happening chemically with this one. So if we have solid magnesium metal and carbon dioxide gas, usually the flame would go out. But in this case, Magnesium is actually such a powerful reducing agent that it's actually able to use the oxygen in the carbon dioxide itself. The heat of the reaction is 809 kilojoules per mole. And that does sadly bring us to the end, but please do tune in next week and share, like and subscribe. And until next time, carry on learning. Bye.